Greetings everyone, you're welcome back to African Dishes with Blessing and today we are making achicha. Achicha is one of Igbo's special delicacy, mostly eaten by Enugu people. Achicha is a combination of cocoa yam flakes and fear fear. This is achicha, mostly eaten by Enugu people. Trust me, you are going to love this. Please make sure you watch to the end. Achicha ingredients are cocoa yam. You know, you have to boil this cocoa yam for days, dry them, and grind it into a paste. And this is the outcome. This is what it looks like. And make sure you buy the eatable cocoa yam, the one you can eat with us itching your throat you know there are some cocoa yam for soups but this particular one we use for that is for eating and we have fio 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 also known as pigeon peas this is the white one we also have brown fio fio but i'm using the white one today white species and we have palm oil make sure you buy the real palm oil for the achicha and we have obaka we have fresh pepper and onions I'm using red fresh pepper and onions we have tiny garden egg seed garden egg tiny seed those tiny ones for abacha and we have grinded crayfish we have grind crayfish we have fresh fish I'm using fresh fish today and of course we have seasoning cubes and salt Let's begin by parboiling our fio fio. Fio fio is very very hard to cook. So I found a tricky way of making it cook faster. In less than 30 minutes your fio fio is ready. You have to add salt. Add enough um, quantity of salt inside the cold water, normal water, not hot water and add your fio fio. Boil for a few minutes. As you can see it seems like the back is peeling after pour boiling you filter the water out of the fear fear you have to wash off all the salts you added because if you don't wash off the salt it will be too salty Remember, we added so much amount of salt while parboiling the fio fio. And this time around, we are going to boil hot water. This one, this washed fio fio right now is going to be added into a boiling water. You have to wash out the salt thoroughly. cover up to cook for a few minutes as the fio fio is on fire boiling it's time to wash our achicha remember this is the cocoyam flakes the cocoyam was cooked it was boiled sun dried and grind into a paste you have to wash it very very well carefully to avoid sand have to wash this achicha like four to five times to avoid sand wash it celery I filter the first water I filter the first water out to remove all the substance that is floating on top of the water you have to add fresh water into the achicha and continue washing I wash this about three to four times then filter the, the last one into a net You 
have to filter gradually and carefully. I transfer them into a net. You press the water out to, to make the aticha very dried. Make sure you filter all the water out. Press it very, very well. And this is the outcome. As you can see, this is the outcome. After pressing the water, remember we are making Enugu achicha. We are making our chicha Ibo local delicacies. Time to transfer the achicha into a nylon. Yes, I am transferring them into a nylon to be boiled. We have to cook the achicha very, very well. If you don't cook this achicha very well, it's going to eat your throat. So you need to cook almost together with the fear of fear you know the fear of fear is boiling right now and we wash the aticha so we have to transfer it into the boiling fear of fear immediately time to transfer it into the fear of fear this is our fear of fear boiling we have to transfer the aticha Hide inside the nylon into the fear of fear. I hope you guys are getting it. After washing the the aticha, transfer it into the nylon. Dry it very well. Transfer it into a nylon and boil it together with the fear of fear, so they can be boiled together. As you can see, the fear of fear is done and the aticha is done as well. I boil this like 40 minutes. It was cooked like about 40 minutes. So you can see we separated the fear of fear from the achicha. Transfer the fear of fear into a bowl and add the achicha as well. Remember, the fear of fear is soft. It's very, very soft right now. It is done. And the achicha is done as well. Time to transfer the achicha into the bowl. You add them together. This is our boiled achicha. The achicha is totally done. Ouch, it's very hot. Time to add your palm oil into a pot. Add your palm oil into a pot. I first of all fry my fish. I fried my fresh fish. After frying your fish, time to add the fresh onions, add your sliced onions, add your sliced onions. Remember our boy that it and fear fear has been kept aside. Now we are making a sauce for the achicha. I added my sliced onions into a palm oil and fresh pepper. Now I'm time to add the obaka. Remember all this will be added into the palm oil. Boiling palm oil. Time to add the seasoning cubes. Add seasoning cubes. To your taste. I'm using no 
I'm using more seasoning cubes. Add seasoning cubes and salt. Add your obaka, fresh pepper, seasoning cubes to taste and salt. And finally, add your crayfish. Now our sauce is ready. Time to add the main thing, the fio fio and the achicha all together into the paste. This is actually very easy to cook. Very simple and easy to cook. The only job here is to wash your achicha very thoroughly to avoid sand. You have to mix them totally, mix them together very, very totally. Mix the oil and everything together. Remember, we are mixing the boiled fiofio and achicha into the sauce that we made. The sauce is a combination of fried onions, fresh pepper, seasoning cubes, salt, and grinded crayfish and obaka. Now, time to add the garden eggs. I love those tiny garden egg seeds in my achicha. It's a little bit bitter, but I love it when eating with achicha or abacha. And guys, and this is a garden egg leaf on top. I garnished it with garden egg leaf, fresh pepper and onions guys this is in the good achicha our achicha is ready is ready it's going down with fresh fish if you don't understand some certain things here please drop a comment drop a comment please subscribe to our channel don't forget to subscribe